The Emerald Isle's St. Patrick's Day festivities shall indeed lack a certain royal sparkle this year, shan't they? With the Princess of Wales absent from the celebrations, it's impossible not to feel a twinge of nostalgia for previous years, where she stood, resplendent in her shamrock garland, embodying the continuity and tradition of this cherished event. Her absence this year, however, raises intriguing questions about the broader implications of royal engagements and the representation of the crown during such key ceremonial moments. It's a moment to ponder the adaptability of royal duties in times of health and hardship. Without a stand-in appointed for the princess at the Irish Guards festivities, it becomes clear that her role is not one that can be simply filled by another. This perhaps is a testament to her unique contribution and the respect accorded to her position. The decision not to appoint a stand-in for the princess at the Irish Guards festivities might well be seen as a reflection of her unique role and the respect accorded to her position. Yet, as the shamrocks are pinned and the parades march on, whispers have begun to circulate about the princess's health. The once radiant Princess of Wales, known for her vivacious spirit and tireless dedication to her royal duties, has retreated from the public eye, sparking a flurry of speculation and concern. The veil of secrecy surrounding her condition is as thick as the castle walls, with even her closest aides reportedly kept in the dark. This enforced privacy paints a stark contrast to the public nature of her role. It's a reminder that even those who exist in the limelight have their own personal battles to fight, battles that don't always make the headlines. It's a struggle that every member of the royal family knows all too well, a constant tug of war between their public duties and their private lives. The princess's recent health issues have not only highlighted her own vulnerability, but also the delicate balance that the royals must maintain. They are expected to embody strength and resilience, to be paragons of stability in a world that's constantly changing. Yet they are also human, susceptible to the same trials and tribulations that affect us all. The princess's absence from St. Patrick's Day festivities, while a cause for concern, also serves as a reminder of her dedication to her role. It's a testament to her commitment to her duties, even when her health might not permit her to fulfill them as she would want. It's a poignant reminder of the delicate balance between public duty and private life, a balance that every member of the royal family must navigate with grace and discretion. As we contemplate the path that led the Princess of Wales to her current station, it's intriguing to ponder the what-ifs of a different life trajectory. The princess, like all of us, had choices to make, crossroads to navigate. Yet her decisions were not only personal, but also carried the weight of royal expectation and tradition. In the grand tapestry of royal life, the Princess of Wales's thread weaves an intricate pattern. It is a pattern marked by duty and service, but also by sacrifice. The sacrifices of personal privacy of a normal life are all part and parcel of the royal journey. Imagine, if you will, a quieter existence, one not defined by royal protocols or public scrutiny. An existence much like that of her sister Pippa, a life where she might have enjoyed the simple pleasures of a sunny afternoon in a rose garden, a quiet evening spent with loved ones, without the world's eyes upon her. But, the Princess of Wales chose a different path, a path marked by a crown and a scepter. A path filled with grandeur, but also with its own set of challenges. A path that has seen her become a beacon of strength and resilience, a symbol of grace under pressure, it speaks to the sacrifices made and the roads not taken, the Faustian bargain struck in the pursuit of duty, love, and a place within the annals of history. In these reflections, one finds a tapestry rich with human emotion and royal tradition, a narrative that continues to captivate and inspire, even as it evolves with each passing generation. The royal journey is a testament to resilience, dedication, and quiet strength. Each member plays their part, and each leaves an indelible mark on the fabric of history. The Princess of Wales, with her grace and vigor, has added her unique thread to this intricate tapestry. Her dedication to duty, her love for her country, and her unyielding strength in the face of adversity serve as a beacon of inspiration. Amidst the grandeur and the pageantry, she remains authentically human, a poignant reminder of the personal sacrifices made in the service of the crown. Her absence is felt, but her spirit remains a vital part of the royal narrative. As we await the Princess of Wales's return to public life, we are reminded of the resilience, the dedication and the quiet strength that define the royal journey. Stay tuned for the next Majesty Moments video, 
Middleton's Shakespearean Saga, Trials, Tribulations and Triumphs. Did you know that channel members can get an exclusive video every week? That's on top of custom emojis, loyalty badges and an extra quiz question every day. Sign up link is in this video's description.